Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to bind off loosely in lace. This is in conjunction with a tutorial that I have called Lace Work, a skill building tutorial. I'll have a link to that in the description of this video along with my other contact information. So let's get right to it. So we have this little lace doily and it has been knit on a US4 needle. And I'm ready to bind off. We want a loose bind off because the edge is going to be very stretchy. So what I do is I use the standard bind off but I use a much larger needle. This is a US8. And I just do the regular bind off and I still do it loosely even though I'm using the 8 needle I'm still going to work on it very very loosely. I am not pulling it tight allowing the yarn to be very loose. We'll do a few stitches here and then we'll see how it looks. The most important thing in a bind off for lace is that it has lots of stretch and you will need to bind off a lot looser than you would normally. So you can see the difference in the size between these two needles. You could even use a larger needle. If you, if you tend to bind off tightly, you might want to use like a 10, a US 10 needle. So I'm just going along very, very loosely. And I'm going to cut the video here and I'll come back in just a second and show you how to do the very last stitch so you get a nice smooth join at the end. So hold on just a second. We'll okay. be back. Okay, so here I've made it all the way around and I'm at the last stitch. So I'm going to take my knitting needle and I just pull the yarn through that last stitch and I'm going to thread this tail on, I cut the yarn of course. I'm going to thread the tail through a tapestry needle and we're going to look at the other side over here. I want to use my tapestry needle and I'm going to go under the first stitch that we did as the bind off which is right here. I'm going to go under both legs, pull it together and then I'm going to go down this stitch that we pulled the yarn out of, I'm going to go back down in that and pull it together. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to weave the end in on the wrong side. Still got the yarn in my tapestry needle and I'm just going to do a little bit of duplicate stitching on the wrong side of the fabric. This is virtually invisible and won't come out. And then I'm going to cut the yarn and let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay, there's our edge nice clean join and we can see that the edge is nice and stretchy so we're going to be able to block this really nice which is the next video up. So stay tuned. You'll see that next if you want to follow the links from this video. Take care and happy knitting.